Hi folks, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a channel dedicated to my journey towards fulfilling my dream. If you think you're interested in something like that, stick around. So first, let me introduce myself. My name is Thomas Stahl. I was born in a relatively small country in Central Europe called Slovakia. About 11 years ago, when I finished elementary school and was about to go to high school, I made a rather big decision. It was more of a a realization actually rather than a decision and it was that I don't really see a future for myself in this country I just couldn't imagine a life for myself here not a happy one at least the reason for it isn't very easy to explain there are a number of reasons that play a part in it I was born into a Hungarian family, went to a Hungarian elementary school, and because of this, I never really learned the local language. I mean, I'm able to speak it at, I would say, an intermediate level, but I was narrowly comfortable with it. To be honest, I never really cared enough to learn it, because by the time I went to high school and would have needed it, I already decided that sometime in the near future, I'm gonna move away from there. Another big factor in my desire to leave is the economic situation of this country. I realize that there are countries out there that have it much worse, but I believe you should not settle for anything less than the absolute best you can get, and I always knew that there is somewhere something better for me out there. All I have to do is go for it. I figured that I'm gonna do it when I finish high school. Well, as the Yiddish proverb says, man plans, God laughs. Some obstacles got in my way that I needed to overcome first. And by obstacles I mainly mean that I needed to make some money. It's 11 years later now, and the time has finally come. Well, almost. I was always interested in the English language, ever since I first started to learn it back in high school. Even back then, I knew that my next home has to be an English-speaking country. Now, you know, the great thing about being European is the single market. For those of you who don't know, the single market is a European institution that allows EU citizens to travel and reside in any other EU country. Now, at the time, there were two European countries with English as an official language, and those were the United Kingdom and Ireland. Since then, it got a little more complicated, because as you might know, the United Kingdom has left the European Union, so now it's a bit more difficult to relocate there. one has to overcome some hurdles first. Fortunately, it's still possible, provided that you've made the necessary arrangements before Brexit date, which is a whole other fairly complicated thing I don't want to get into right now. The main thing is, I managed to make those arrangements, so the UK is still on the table for me. So, I had a choice between these two countries, and 
in the end, I decided to go with the UK, uh, simply because it's a much bigger country with more opportunities. So I had my destination now, I just needed to uh, put it into action. You might be thinking, it's 11 years later now, how come you're still not there? Well, I pretty much got sidetracked. Like I said, some obstacles got in my way, uh, but now I'm ready to go. Almost exactly 11 years later, I'm back to my original plan. Recently, in a quiet moment, I got to thinking about the last 10 years of my life and I realized I'm very much in the same position I was back then. I realized that my life just didn't move at all. The sad truth was, I had no real job, no real friends, no relationship, and quite honestly no life at all. Pretty sad, I know. But then and there I decided it's time to change that. I decided to realize my old dream and this time I'm going to make damn sure I stick to it. And that's where this channel comes into the narrative. Last year, in 2020, in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, I visited England for the first time. It was important for my future to be in England at a specific time, but like I said, I don't want to get into that right now. I'm going to post a video showing my trip at some point in the near future. So this channel. I'm creating this channel to document the process I go through on my journey because I'm well aware that it's not going to be a smooth sailing. I'm hoping that the presence of this outlet will uh, motivate me to keep going no matter how hard things get. It will also provide a way for me to practice my English pronunciation because as you can probably tell, I need that. And later in my life serve as a reminder of what I went through to get here. I don't really expect anyone to ever see this. After all, not many people are interested in a random guy's struggles, but that's not what this is really about. I mean, if you're watching this right now, I'm thrilled you're here. I'm hoping you've uh, stumbled onto this channel because you're on your way to something great too. And I'm also hoping I can give you something, even if it's just a little bit of motivation. I'm naming this video uh, Dream Vlog Zero because I want this to be the first of many videos. I want this to be a reminder to people that no matter who you are, no matter where you are, there is always a way for everyone to achieve their dreams and goals in life. I'm hoping this is the beginning of something special and long-lasting, something I can look back to with a sense of pride later in life and something that will help me and possibly others fulfill their dreams. Thank you for hearing me out. And remember, never settle for anything less than the absolute best. See ya. Oh, and by the way, that was a bike tour of the city I grew up in. And in case you're wondering, I read all of that from a script I wrote.